and welcome back to another video! Hello and welcome back to another video! I've got my friend Discord Gaming here with me. Yep, that's me. <laughs> um, and uh, um, we're going to answer a question that uh, um, I have been kind of curious about for a while now, and that is which is truly better, PC or consoles? And this is just a comparison, so don't yeah, get triggered. Yeah, this, this is just like comparing them and uh, <laughs> yeah. um, seeing which one is better. Yeah. And this is a one-to-one -one comparison, um, which uh, we'll get into with this first, um, you know, like comparison. So the first thing I want to talk about which is the power gap between uh, PCs and consoles. Because uh, you will always hear from a PC elitist that uh, their PC uh, can run Doom 2016 4K 60fps, but well, that isn't very, a very fair comparison because they probably spent well over £1,000 on that PC, where an Xbox One X and PS4 Pro, while not as powerful, are about half the price. So I asked my friend Discord Gaming um, on YouTube uh, to uh, find the parts for a PC that would make it uh, comparable in power to, an X to the Xbox the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro and tell me how much the parts would cost and he uh, consulted the uh, like a PC community group what was it? Oh yeah I've just um, checked out some um, PC building like um, enthusiasts on Discord you know those yeah. kind of people. <laughs> and the best they could come up with is um, so I'm gonna have to enlarge this a bit so I can actually read it AMD Ryzen 5 1600 3.2 GHz 6 core processor. Um, you, well, you can read all that if you're really that interested. Um, I have next to no idea what any of this does or means. But yeah, altogether. You know. <laughs> yeah, altogether that came up to $552.12. And I did convert that into UK pounds because um, that's where I live in the UK. Um, and on top of that, uh, the uh, um, converter to UK pounds, £439.11p. If you do not know how to assemble a PC, you are adding another approximately £200 on yeah. top, bringing the total amount to, to, to mount... Sorry, what, what was you saying, Jack? Discord yeah, right? So, pretty close to um, around the same price, you know, as an Xbox One S, which would... Um, X, I mean which would normally cost you yeah. like um, $500 I, in the US. <laughs> actually, listen to this. Um, wait a minute. With, within the ball, that'll bring this within the ballpark of £639.11p for a PC about as powerful as an Xbox One X. Then I looked up Xbox One X's price on um, Google and from Amazon you can get one for £346. Yeah, of course, that depends. And game, you can get one for two hundred and seventy nine ninety nine. And this is without like any like special offers on. And this is like one terabyte. You've got to do in mind, considering it's like condition, because a lot Good. of the time, usually, yeah, but it'll be used. Mm. From Amazon, it's brand new. From game, you can get one for basically two hundred and eighty in yeah, good in um, good condition. Um, from eBay, um, it doesn't tell you the condition, but that's uh, yeah, two hundred and yeah, fifty-three pounds. Yeah, um, another one from yeah. eBay, um, two hundred and sixty pounds. Yeah. And uh, from uh, Fat La Lim Lama, I don't Fat know, Lama, Lama three hundred and forty pounds. So in general, they're about brand new, about three fifty. Um, used, you can get them for about 250 yeah. so either way that's about half of what it would cost for you to get a PC built for you that's as powerful. Yeah, because so, again, you know, like, the, like you say, you've got to consider, you know, how much it costs to, like, have it pre-built. Yeah, yeah, so I, I, yeah, if you don't, if you build it yourself then it's not half, it, it yeah. does like save you like 200 quid, but um, that's still £439.11p compared to a brand new Xbox One X, £346. So, consoles wins the power to pound ratio. Yeah, yeah bearing in mind... Let's say yeah. it wins the value for money, 
Yeah, so, I, yeah I, I prefer the power yeah. to pound ratio, oh, you know, yeah. because, you know, you get more power for every pound you spend on the consoles. I prefer that, but you yeah. can call it whatever you want. So this is well, just yeah, a... Power money, power yeah. Money, power to pound, what it, uh, yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, uh, games. Well, PC does have some exclusive games. They are few and far between, and even then, they will usually be ported to consoles later on in their lifespan, like Cuphead. Um, and Nintendo's exclusives alone is a big reason to buy their handhelds and consoles. So, consoles basically wins the exclusive games category. Not only that, but when you buy a console, a game will always be released on uh, the manufacturer's shopping. So, Nintendo's eShop or Sony's eShop and Microsoft's eShop. Um, and not some other on the same console, unlike PC where you have Steam and the Epic Games Store and you also have Origin and so on and so forth. Meaning that games will often be, your your entire, your gaming library on the PC will sometimes be split, split across yeah, three or say, um, two or three uh, different uh, um, stores where um, on a Nintendo Switch you don't have that. Yeah, and I must say, what, one thing I would love to see Sega and Nintendo work together on on that note is I would love to see them both like uh, mm. particularly Sega working on set, what's it Sonic Adventure like one and two like remastered but for the Switch like imagine how much yeah. people would love that yeah it was a yeah anyway um, we're not going to get into that right now they'll make it a lot better I think personally. yeah that's me, just my opinion yeah, yeah, but anyway, um, well, there's lots of games I could go to any console that would make them a lot better. But anyway, um, mm. so yeah, that's the two most important things yeah. when you're considering what to buy, price, and uh, what games there are on it. Like, can you think of anything else we could compare PC to consoles? Well, I suppose you've got um, like, I could say the um, another. Thing you could probably mention is value for money. You know what's yeah. Well, we've expensive. already done that with um, yeah. yeah, Xbox One X and just like a build. And that's we clearly basically. you mentioned that you know generally consoles are better value for money, but yeah, obviously like say you know. But you can get, get higher powered PCs than there are consoles, yeah, but they will. But that's only for like people who have thousands of pounds to spend. But then again, you can build, you know, budget gaming PCs probably somewhere around mid-range that slightly better than consoles. Yeah, but but consoles are basically mid-range PCs. Let's be honest here. Yeah. And do you probably couldn't get one as like as we established here? You even like, and um, the PC community couldn't build a con a yeah, PC. That's as powerful as the Xbox One X within uh, the price range of an Xbox One X, especially if you're considering um, the 200 extra quid about on top of that to get it built. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they can still build something fairly good, and yeah. Yeah, but not as. Uh, yeah, but the main point here is that you with consoles, you have a higher pound per power rate. Power per pound, yeah. basically, you know, higher well, power per pound well, you spend. You say you're getting better, better value for money if, say, you went out and just got an Xbox One X or yeah. something like PS4 Pro, you know, whatever you're into. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the day, if you're looking to get a mid range PC, don't bother, just get an Xbox One X or PS4 Pro, or wait for the Scarlet and the um, PS5 to come out, um, well, or that, even by a Nintendo Switch, which, while isn't nearly as powerful, still has a lot of good games and is portable. Well, course, are, which is another thing you can't exactly just like pick up your you know, PC and take it anywhere. Well, of course, if you are planning to, you know, get into the game PC gaming um, scene, then you know, just basically save up. Bunch of money. <laughs> yeah, like a, a, f a couple yourself. thousand pounds. Yeah, <laughs> get yourself a you know, good rig, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, at least about a thousand pounds, so, you know, for like, uh, yeah. be, be good, good enough. Yeah, I'd say with a thousand pounds, like, just to spend on parts, you could probably build uh, an above average PC. 
probably. Yeah, so something that's probably a bit better than a console. Right? Yeah, better than a console, but not exactly top range, not top of the range, but better than a console. Yeah. <laughs> but again, you, right, man, you, um, I think, I can't remember who, but there's this government who um, has this, like, giant computer, which is just a bunch of yeah. PS3s hooked up together. And then again, yeah, if you got a, if you want, again, if you want something that's like um, portable and that can play a lot of the very latest games, um, Nintendo Switch. Do you get the Switch or as well? I like, say there is the um, gaming laptop, but then again, the problem with those is there's so massive some of them and heavy that yeah, you might as well just get a Switch. Basically. Yeah, I, I might, I might do a Switch versus gaming laptops. Um, an argument at some point, but yeah, I think so. when you're arguing about portability, the Switch just wins hands down. Like, yeah, who who's gonna play a first-person shooter with a trackpad? Nobody. Well, well, then again, well, then again, that's why you have these, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but then you know you're not always gonna be able to put have somewhere to put a mouse, are you? Yeah, no. I mean, like I say, I mean, I'm practically um. Right, even with all these extra USB ports that I've got for my laptop, because mm. well, my laptop only come with like only apparently comes with two USB ports built in. Yeah. Like, I practically fill almost all of them up. I've got one for my uh, mouse, one for my webcam, one for this and that. And just, yeah. <laughs> just practically fills the entire thing up, but pretty much. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that to subscribe and ring a ding that notification bell, otherwise YouTube won't notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.